And that's going to stress everything in ways that your systems haven't been stressed before. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Today we have a question about AGM and lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries. What does one have to do on a boat's electrical system to replace AGM house batteries with lithium ion phosphate batteries? There's much talk about just swapping them out, but that doesn't seem right. Do you have to change the battery charger, the solar chargers, the battery condition monitors, shunts, etc.? Well, the first thing to note is that the lithium ion batteries are almost certainly going to have a higher charge acceptance rate than your existing AGM batteries. And that's going to stress everything in ways that your systems haven't been stressed before. So aside from looking at the chargers and, and the other bits of kit in the system, we need to look at the wiring, all of the conductors. Uh, we may uh, have undersized conductors now for the kind of currents that the lithium ion batteries are going to suck out of the system. So we have to look at the entire system uh, in relation to those lithium ion batteries. And then with respect to all the individual charging devices, if they're feeding directly into the lithium ion batteries, they need an appropriate algorithm for lithium ion batteries, which uh, the AGM algorithm actually may be fairly close to that, but we need to check these things. Uh, we need to think about what's going to happen if those lithium ion batteries see a condition they don't like and the battery management system disconnects the battery from the boat. Is it going to destroy the alternators? Is there some other battery in the circuit right, that will stop that from happening? So you can't just pull the AGM batteries out and drop a lithium ion battery in there in its place. Uh, basically, you have to regard the lithium ion battery as part of an energy storage system rather than being just a battery. And then we have to look at the whole system and all the bits and pieces and how they relate to each other and all the conductors and whether they're the right size and whether we need to upgrade the fuses. So we have to go through the whole, whole electrical system that's connected with that lithium ion battery and make sure it's up to the task and won't get us into trouble. Yep, thanks Nigel for your uh, quick take on that. And you see there's actually a lot to think about. And if you are thinking of replacing or going to lithium ion batteries, I highly recommend that you check out the module in our uh, advanced marine electrics program, where we talk about how to install lithium ion batteries in a standard compliant, compliant way. Um, so check that out, boathowto.com and see you soon.